Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, we are going to prepare one normal HCl solution from the concentrated HCl solution. For that purpose, we are first doing the calculation and then I am just going to prepare one normal HCl from the concentrated HCl solution. So here I have written normality is equal to molarity for HCl. So this I am just going to discuss later on. And here is the molecular weight of hydrochloric acid which is 36.46 so I have written it as 36.5 and here is the given assay as well as the density of the HCl solution. So here molecular weight is this, density is this, assay is this. So this assay means this much of the concent percent of HCl is present in the concentrated HCl solution. So it means 37 divided by 100 and we get 0.37. So for that purpose we are just going to calculate the normal normality and normality is gram equivalents per liter. 1 liter is equal to 1000 1, ml. So we are just going to calculate the weight according to the 1000 ml of the solution. So mass is equal to SA into density into volume which we have taken over here. So SA is 0.37 into its density which is 1.18 into the solution volume of the solution 1000 liters and we get this mass of that now the equivalent weight of hcl because we need to calculate the gram equivalent so equivalent weight for hcl is same as the molecular weight because the because the equivalent weight is molecular weight divided by n factor so here in this case n factor is 1 and now I am just going to divide the mass which we have calculated with its equivalent weight and this is in gram equivalents per liter because we have taken volume 1000 liter. So this is called normality of the solution. So normality is equal to 11.96 divided by 1 liter is equal to 11.96 normality for HCl. Now we are just going to calculate how much volume of this concentrated HCl we need to take to prepare one normal HCl solution in 100 ml. So I have just used this normality equation N1V1 is equal to N2V2 and I put all the values because I need to prepare one normal 100 ml solution. So for that purpose I do require volume is equal to 8.36 ml. So here is the concentrated HCl so instead of using this cane I have just transferred some HCl to this reagent bottle and from this reagent bottle I have measured 8.4 ml of this concentrated HCl so this is 8.4 ml of HCl now this is 50 ml of distilled water we do not add the water to the acid however we need to add acid to the water with drop wise or with the help of this glass rule so just for the sake of simplicity i am just going to add this hcl to the measuring cylinder here so i add this with the help of this glass rule why i use this measuring cylinder because sometimes if i add it directly so there is chances of bumping and I'll just shake it properly so that it mix homogeneously and now I will rinse this measuring cylinder from which I have transferred this HCl solution so I am just going to rinse it and I will add to this measuring flask I again rinse this I transfer it to measuring flask and now I'll just transfer this solution to the measuring flask because I need to prepare 100 ml of this so now this is up to the mark you can see here and this is how we can prepare one normal HCl solution I shake it well and now I transfer it to reagent bottle so this is my one normal HCL solution. Mm -hmm. 